cheese makes perfect, but they all look the same after a while. Are you? I'm your loyal servant, Stab, oh dark one. You work for me? You, uh, geez, I've never, I've never seen you before, kid. What do you work in the mailroom or something? Uh, no, I work here, oh foul master, committing evil deeds in your name. All right, listen, I don't know where here is, but it reeks of catch it, and there's no way that OSHA would let me have anyone working in a shithole like this. It's my parents' basement. They keep the cat litter box down here, oh fierce old Satan. Would you put some fucking pants on, for Christ's sake, you asshole? Uh, listen, what are you doing down here? What are you, what are you doing down here? Well, I needed to summon you so that I could sell you my soul. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, all right, listen. I think we got a misunderstanding here. I think you're a little bit confused. Not Satan. The name is Testa Fleck. I'm a senior VP of Clone Aid, and I am not in the souls buying business. Oh, uh, damn it! This spell was supposed to summon Satan. This mad fatty sucks! We 
will you buy my soul? Oh, wow. All right, all right, listen. Even if I was interested in buying your soul, and I'm not saying that I am. What, what were you looking to get for it? Immortality. <laughs> oh, did I just hear you right? Did you just say immortality? <laughs> he said immortality. Yeah. That's what you, you said. You said immortality. I, I said immortality. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> What am I gonna do with a soul? Seriously. I thought it was a status thing, like Zen Rock Gardens or something. Alright, alright, listen. Ah. Uh, alright, you, you're not gonna be able to get immortality with a soul like that. I mean, c come on, what do you think? You're Gandhi? I, I mean, you sin, don't you? Oh yeah, all the time. I lie. And I cheat, and I gamble, and this one time I went over to my friend's house, and I went into his room when he wasn't there, and I took his blue bong, and I took it back to my house, and my mom saw it, and she asked me where I got it, and told her I got it from him, so she called his mom, and now he's in rehab, and I have constant sex. Well, I masturbate to really fucked up porno. Jesus Christ. See, that's exactly my point. Do you really think that you're going to be able to get immortality with a soul like that? Because <laughs> I sure don't. I guess you're right. How about just an extra 20 years? Listen, I'm sorry, kid, but my dinner's getting cold. I really got to get going. What? I went to a lot of trouble to set this up. Couldn't you? Just one? Listen, I just want to get home and beat my wife and kids. I... All right, listen, listen. Because you remind me of me when I was your age, well, with the hair and everything. Uh, I'll give you a buck for it. One lousy dollar? I drank my own cum! Oh, gee, all right, all right. Uh, how's about, uh, how's about, uh, uh... Finn, give me five or for it. Man, the wife is gonna get it tonight. Done. Sweet. Oh, it was a pleasure doing business with you, asshole. scientific community. I'm Dr. Hogart Positive, and my team of scientists and I welcome you to Real Science Science. Fuh, fuh, fuh. Five. Today we are going to perform a series of experiments to try and determine how stupid real people really are. Behold, this ordinary magic lamp placed here in this highly congested area of real recreationalists. To try and see how many of these real people, real people, will actually rub it. Let us observe. Bag. Touch it. T touch it. Touch it. No. No, not like, no. Not like that. No. Come back. Come back. Touch it. Rub it. Idiot. Idiot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. A penny! <laughs> no, idiot, idiot! Yes! must confess this is most disappointing we have been out here for 40.5 minutes and not a single person has even attempted to rub our lamp this does disprove my hypothesis that real people are in fact intelligent however it does prove my hypothesis that life isn't really worth living thank you for joining us on today's episode of real science science fuck 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 Dr. Positive! What's this? I, I merely rubbed the lamp and now smoke pouring out of the top of it and something more, more than smoke, but it's the figure of a man, a man dressed in exotic Arabian clothing of the finest silk and why he's not just a man, he's a, a genie, a genie of the lamp. I am the genie of the lamp. A genie of the lamp. Good day, sir. Good day. Genie of the lamp. Here to grant you three wishes. Oh man, oh three wishes. Stuff like this never happens to me. Oh man, I'm totally gonna live forever and have a million dollars and make up with Pamela Anderson. No, 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 wait, Louis Anderson and have tons of children. Whoa, hold there, you're getting a little ahead of me. Let's take a second, relax, breathe with me. Now, you good? Oh man, I am so good, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Are those really your wishes? Uh, no. No, wait, I gotta think about this. I gotta make good choices. Good, because I couldn't grant those anyway. You see, there are a few restrictions as to what you can and cannot wish for. You can't wish for eternal life or a million wishes. Jeez, what should I wish for? Ah, well, one thing you can wish for is my freedom, although... What? What is it? It's just that no one has ever wished for that before. Hey. Hey. I'll be the one. Fantastic! All right, cool. Uh, well, let me just get these other two wishes out of the way. Of course, yeah. of course. All right. Certainly. What can I do for you? Uh, well, okay. Uh, let's see. What to wish for? Uh, okay. How's about the? Uh, how's about the? Uh, I wish for gold. I can't do gold. I'm sorry. I was just getting into it. It's one of those things that yeah. I can't do. Uh, it's fine. It's not fine. my rules. You know. It's fine. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, then how about, uh, silver? I can't do yeah, silver well, either. I kind of Very much like gold. Probably Same would. rules apply. Uh, well, what can I wish for? I mean... Is... Oh, well, you know, lots of things. Uh, my freedom, for one. Yeah, uh, but of course, you know and, that. And, yeah, and... Um, oh, well, where to start? I mean, sky's the limit, really. Mm -hmm. uh, a favorite is lollipops, a popular wish. Oh, well, sure, yeah. It's, uh, all right, well, is there, is that, what else, what else? Um... Have I mentioned my freedom? Yeah, I think, you, yeah, you mentioned it a few times. Well then, that pretty much sums it up. 
So I couldn't even wish for a bag to keep all my shit in? No! Well, how, how about, could I wish for you to jump up and down? No. <sighs> all right, fine. All right, I wish for one grape lollipop. <gasps> Your wish is my command. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. I'll, I'll eat this now. Hey, this is pretty good. Care to make another wish? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Um. I wish for a root beer lollipop. I can't actually do root beer. All right. Well. Can I wish for a gold lollipop? All right. Fine. Fine. I wish for a lemon lollipop. All right. I'm just going to put all my cards on the table here. I can only do grape. Only grape? Yeah. So that's only. You only do grape lollipops. That's the only thing that I can I can wish for. Yes, but it's a wonderful flavor. That's all though. Only grape. Just grape. Well, then I guess I'll wish for another stupid grape lollipop. Your, Your wish is my command. Thanks. Here you go, Slugger. Thanks. Just think, one wish left. One lonely wish. Think of it. With just one I wish, one genie could be free from an eternity of suffering. This is pretty good. Yes, it certainly is something to have that kind of power at your disposal. Oh, I wish I had another grape lollipop. Fine! You want another grape lollipop? Here's your grape lollipop! There's your grape lollipop! Tonight, on Public Forum, I'll be taking you to the very center of the city to meet a special young woman named Sally Pumpfake, a woman who's dedicated her time and energy to providing a creative safe space for the less fortunate members of our community. Join me, Cynthia Sedgwick, as I get all the gritty details on the organization that Sally developed, known as Pulpage, tonight on another Public Forum. Doo -doo -doo. Public issues. Public life. Public responsibility. Public togetherness. Public care. Cynthia Sedgwick is your host for Public Forum. Now, most people don't realize that until the beginning of the late 20th century, women weren't even allowed to hold their own musical piano concerts. But of course now, many females do try to play Los Pianos. That's right, Cynthia. The vast majority of today's amateur to semi-professional piano teachers are, in fact, women. And 65% of their students are aspiring to become female piano teachers themselves. This is an excellent step in the right direction. But surely the majority of professional and rock pianists are still men. Well, the number of women involved with amateur to semi-professional so-called rock piano playing has skyrocketed 25% in the last few years. So Sally, explain to our viewers why you, a woman, have chosen to teach to a completely different protected class. Sure. Well, there's already an overabundance of piano for the poor programs, and the differently able give me the heebie-jeebies. What about a man? who's mostly head and has little hands coming out of his shoulders. Actually, no, they're full-sized hands. Well, I noticed there was one very special population that was being completely ignored. They exist right here in our community, but all too often, people don't realize it. Well, Cynthia, 
I realized it. And that's when you started Piano Lessons for Jerks. That's right. I really thought that these undeserving members of our society needed a helping hand and I could just provide it for them. And that's why I started Pussledge. Piano Lessons for Jerks. Now, Sally, tell me, what kind of clientele do you reach out to? Programs. Well, all kinds of people qualify for my program. There's litter bugs, abusive fathers, bargain hunters, uh, one very special governor of Massachusetts. Sally, I think it's wonderful that you created such a sanctuary for these people that the rest of us have just abandoned. So, can you give us any information on upcoming concerts where we can see your students? No. Sally, thank you so much for being here and taking time out of your busy schedule. And please join us next week when we chitty chat with El Qaeda. This has been Public Forum. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Public Forum. <laughs> I'm talking today with the terrorist group El Quesadilla. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Is there something I can help you with? Me? No. Thanks. And could you maybe back off? Sure. Is there something wrong with you? Why would you ask that? <laughs> because you're staring at my letter. No, I'm not. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm gonna go mail this somewhere else. No, 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 wait. Mail it here. Use this mailbox. I'm... I'm going, so you can use it. I'll leave you be. The mailbox is all yours, so... See? I'm really leaving. trying to take it from me. No, I'm not. No, I don't. Yes, he is. He's obsessed. That's a lie. He attacked me. Well, it doesn't matter, because I've got it now. I'm going to make sure it gets where it's supposed to go. All right? All right? Now you two buzz off, right? Buzz off. I almost forgot.
Dearest Franz, just thinking of you. Pals, lovingly, Abel. Friends forever. Aw, how sweet. Thank you.